Okay, this is David, and uh, we are in the middle of July, and I've got a couple algae systems going. I've taken one and separated it and created two out of it. Um, actually, this one's been performing very, very well. Uh, real nice algae production. I'm doing a little centrifuge on it for comparison, and uh, uh, it's a little bit uh, too little within a a uh, this is about a three cc or two c three cc flask to get a good amount of um, uh, 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 settling out of the centrifuge. But I got enough to get a visual idea of how much. And I'm going to make a comparison um, between the two of these systems. Now that I've got the second one set up, I can do some. I can conduct some side by side experiments with adding different uh, elements and including like uh, some carbohydrate mass which is basically a balled up uh, bunch of wheat straw and clover like I did here before that one is has been taken out it actually is enough to have one ball of this in the system actually um, I, I sort of use goldfish as a measure of their health to see if they're gasping for oxygen or you know and then I watch the pH and um, and also uh, uh, the temperature and so on and so forth but you know the acidity that's coming off of this sometimes can be a little harsh in the, after the first couple days but nonetheless it's a carbohydrate it adds carbon to the water it makes the al it makes the algae grow so we're going to compare the growth of the algae with the uh, with the ball of, of uh, uh, grass cuttings and one without and then I'll probably add some nitrogen to both these systems and every all the other variables will stay identical the nitrogen will be a urine uh, source of nitrogen so uh, equally these two will get uh, uh, urea and all the trace elements that go along with that plus the uh, this one will have the the uh, mulch the there are some other variables here. The glass at this moment is not set up identical. I'm going to add a bigger piece of uh, screen there. That's a fiberglass screen. Try to get a little bit more water dispersion. This isn't ideal, but it's it's giving me enough. Uh, and they're relatively comparable. There's also not quite as much sunlight on this system as there is on that system. Um, the sun kind of goes along that ridge line. It'll be settling. It'll be going, getting lower and lower as the... Uh, as we get uh, further towards the end of the summer. So that's pretty much it. You can see me in the mirror. And um, this is these are just black glass. Um, they're tinted glass, but I'll put a piece of black plastic behind both of them again, and uh, that'll draw in a little bit more of the uh, solar light. And that's about it. We'll uh, centrifuge to compare the amounts of algae in the in the two systems, and then monitor pH and and um, nitrate and ammonia and nitrate levels. Nitrate's been high on this one. Uh, nitrate has been zero, but that may be uh, because the uh, algae is consuming all nitrate. Um, there is also zero ammonia, so there's adequate conversion from ammonia to nitrate, or to nitrite, I should say. The uh, question is, is there enough oxygen to produce nitrate? And obviously there is. Um, but pH is a factor too, so we'll go back and study a little bit about uh, how that mechanics, how the chemistry of that works. And that's about it. This is David, and we'll be back to update you soon.